Hello, this tutorial is going to step you through how to do your, an example of the math formula project. We did this once in class, but I wanted to go ahead and give you another example. When you open up JDoodle, you're going to get this screen, and we are basically going to delete out the guts that are there, because you're going to write your own math formula. The math formula um, that I created, I have saved under my projects, and I just also want to show you this so you know how to save. So, for example, on this project right here, I could click Save, and you want to give it a name that is descriptive. So I'm going to do oh, Lachlan. It's nice to save it with your last name so then I know who it's from. So oh, Lachlan, for example, and I'll do uh, Math Demo as an example, and then we will click Save. And so that project will now be saved. You do have to be logged in in order to be able to save. I'm going to open up the example that we already did in class so that I can just glance at it and use it or use the code. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to bring it over just so that I can reference that. I'm going to click cancel there because I really didn't want to use that code right now. A lot of times this is helpful to bring over a section of code and then just use it um, as a guideline here. I would like to comment out that whole section though so none of it's running. So I do a slash asterisk and an asterisk slash. And then I have this code here as a reference. And you can do that because this sample is available online on course sites for you. But basically when you guys create your own um, function, what you're going to do or your math formula, the driver part of the code it goes here and that's going to include your variables and your declarations and what we also call initializations of your variable so you're going to set all the values for your variables so you'll initialize in this part after this curly brace I'm going to hit a couple blank spaces you're going to write or create your method here. And I might switch between the word method and function and that's because in C++ we call them functions, in Java we call them methods, but they are, based, they are the same thing um, for our purposes. So in the example that I did before we had declared a couple integer variables, you can see them below as integers because we were going to work on calculating the sum. I decided just as to show you a different data type that I could create a double also for, that will so store the sum and then I assign and so your declarations are generally first right here and the declarations give a data type and a name to a variable and then I'm going to assign values to num and I'm going to assign a value to num2 so you're going to assign your values like if you're doing area of a circle you'll probably have a variable radius and you'll assign it a value if you're doing Pythagorean theorem you'll have the A and B values, etc. And now I don't know what sum is going to eat. Well, I, sum is going to equal the sum of those two, but I want to write a method. So sum is going to be assigned. That's how I read that. I would say sum is assigned, and sum is assigned the value of the sum, the um, the result of those two variables. Part of this goal here is to get you to write. A method so I'm going to call my method sum of two nums like we did before and I'm going to send it two parameters num1 num2 that's going to call my method and send it those two parameters and then I'm going to output and I'm going to copy and paste the line of code that I had before just to save a little bit of time because I'm short on time and then it's going to output the sum so sum is assigned the result of uh, the method call. The method is written below and our method is going to be this code and I'm just going to copy and paste it here. But what happens is you need to make it public static. That's um, just in order for it to work in this environment um, and it's because it's inside my class etc. Um, you need to have the return type. So double is our return type because we're sending it back to a double sum. We have the name of the method, which should match your method call. The method call and the name of the method should match. On the method uh, definition, which is down here, 
this is your method definition is what we call it. On your method definition, you use generic variables, meaning I would not use the same name, I'd use something similar, but you also have to declare the data type because you're declaring a local variable here. So double N1, double N2 are the variables coming in. We want to return, or we want to do our calculations here. So what you guys are going to do is do the calculations. We wanted to assign a, a sum. So I, I created another variable. I could have named it sum if I wanted to, but I wanted to name it something a little bit different. So I created a variable double total. I assigned total the n1 plus n2. I can't use num1 and num2 because I've got... Um, the, the those variables don't exist in this scope okay the only variables that exist in this scope are n1 and n2 they are the values num1 gets passed to n1 so i have to use n1 and n2 locally and then i return the total and so that's my method and so when i go ahead and execute this code and now that i'm done with my example from below here i'm going to delete all that out to execute the code we click execute and it should show us the sum of num1 plus num2 is sum and it did now I do have I probably should put a space in there so put a space before the and I could execute again see that it executes um, the other thing that I would mention is that I used concatenation here notice I used a combination of strings and quotes plus variable strings and quotes plus variable string and quote plus variable in order to print our output. That is an example that you guys can use in order to model your math function after. Um, I'll try to do some more a little bit later. Please ask questions if you need to and please send me an email if you need some additional help.